There are so many different types of beer glass out there, but which one should you be using? Let's have a look at five beer glass styles you should know. Hi beer lovers, I'm Joanne the Beer School Lady and I teach you how to taste beer with confidence and to develop your knowledge of the world's favourite beverage. Welcome back to my channel. The world of beer glassware is vast. Look at these, this is just a little selection that I brought up from my personal collection today. But what ones should you really be using? What ones do you need to know? In this video, I wanna go through five beer glass styles that you should know and that will help you use them. I've picked ones that I think are a bit all rounder. So if you're just starting out on your beer journey, these are good ones to have in your collection. But before we begin, I've got a couple of tips for you. Tip number one, when you are drinking beer, you should always pour it into a glass, whatever glass that may be. It opens up the aromas and flavours. It releases some of the carbonation, so you don't feel quite so full and bloated, but you're going to get the full experience of that beer. Glassware, when it came about, meant that beers needed to look really good because unlike previous drinking vessels that were made out of so stone, ceramic or leather, you could see what was in your glass. By pouring your beer into a glass, any glass, you can see the beautiful colours, you get to see the great head on your beer and it will just enhance your drinking experience. Tip number two, any glass will do. The ones we're going to look at today are specifically designed for beer, but if you are caught short, make sure that you just use any glass that you've got. It could be a little tumbler, it could be a wine glass. Wine glasses are excellent for drinking beer out of because they are designed for releasing aromas and flavours in wine, but it still works for beer. If I'm at someone's house and I haven't got a beer glass with me or they don't have a decent beer glass, I will use one of their wine glasses. And I've gone into pubs and I've asked for a wine glass if they haven't got good beer glasses. So don't be afraid to use any glass because you've got to get that beer out of the can or bottle to really appreciate it. So as I said, and as you've probably seen, there are so many different types of beer glasses. There are different shapes, there are different sizes. Some people might wonder why there are so many different ones. Some of them are quite traditional, like this dimpled mug here. Some of them are designed for specific beer styles and some of them are branded for the brewery or the style of beer. I've picked five beer glasses you can start your beer journey with or that are just all good rounders that you should definitely know about for your craft beer journey. Beer glass number one that you should know about is the Allegra. This is like a little tumbler glass. A lot of breweries have got these with their logo on. This is my time and tide one. This has been quite popular recently as a beer glass uh, in a lot of craft beer bars. It is not your regular kind of straight sided tumbler. It has got a nice bold shape at the bottom here and the sides slope in. The bowl shape is going to open up the aromas and flavours and that sloping side is going to capture the aromas and the head at the top. It's going to also filter those aromas up to your nose when you're drinking. This is a good all rounder glass. You can pretty much put any style in it. Pro of this glass is that you can put anything in it. It's quite small. They don't take up a lot of space because a beer glass collection can start to take over your life. However, I am not a massive fan of the Allegra's. You've got to hold it with your whole hand. You are then putting your body heat onto the beer and warming it up. Um, so I personally am not a fan of these, but if you want a nice all rounder glass, an Allegra from your favorite brewery is a good start. Our next glass is the Teku. This is by far my favorite beer glass of all. It's an excellent all rounder. It's got that bold shape again, but it slopes in at the sides to capture the aromas and flavours for you. It has a turned out lip that's going to help capture the head. And also when you tip it to drink, it's going to move the beer nicely into your mouth. Also, it's got a stem and a nice solid base there. That stem means you're not putting your hand heat onto your beer. Also, it just looks really fancy. This one that I've got from Three Heels is a nice sturdy one. This is literally my everyday beer glass. If you have only one beer glass in your collection, try and get a Teku. It will not fail you. 
Our third glass is a snifter glass. Now you might recognise this shape. It's very similar to a brandy glass. It's smaller in size, so you get a smaller pour in it. It's also got a nice rounded shape, so you can swirl and the sides taper in to capture aromas and the head of the beer. Now these are really good for dark beers and high ABV beers. We're talking barley wines and imperial stouts. As you can see, this is one from Samuel Smith's and that is so that you get a smaller pour. So we're being responsible with our drinking, but also those beers have extremely complex aromas and flavors going on. With this glass, you can get a good swirl on, release all of those aromas and flavors. So you can truly appreciate that beer. Beer glass number four that you should know, the tulip. This is kind of the best of all the worlds. And these are really good for beers like Belgian beers, things where you really want the aromas and flavours to be released and come out. Again, we've got that nice bold shape, but it tapers in at the top and captures the aromas and flavours. It's got a nice short stem, a nice sturdy foot. Another good all-rounder if you want to have beers that have interesting and complex flavours. This is a slightly smaller one that I got at a festival. You can get larger ones. They come in a variety of sizes. So pick the one that best suits your needs. This shaped glass is also considered a tulip. You can see it's quite nicely rounded here and it does start to taper in at the edge here. This one's from Unbarred. I like to use these more like a snifter, slightly bigger. It's really good for dark beers. Again, with this shape, you can get a really good swirl on and get all the complex aromas and flavours out of your dark beers. The last of our five essential beer glasses is the Craftmaster. These have been very popular with IPA drinkers. Now, it's got a nice grip on the bottom of it so you can get hold of your beer. It's got this bold shape here that tapers in and then we've got a nice lip at the top that's going to capture the lovely head it's going to capture the aromas the thing about these as well and what makes them really good for ipas is on the bottom they will have an etching it's quite difficult to capture on camera but they'll have something laser etched into the glass this nucleation point allows the carbonation to be released evenly throughout the beer so it makes you not too bloated and really gives you the flavours and aromas that the brewer wants. This is great if you like your hoppy beers, it's going to really release those hop aromas and flavours for you. Again, you are putting your hand heat on it because there's no stem, but if you're drinking a nice cold IPA, you're going to drink it fairly quickly, so you're not going to worry about warming it up too much. I want to give you a bonus sixth glass because this is one of my favourite glasses of all time. This is a branded glass. It is specifically designed by Sam Adams for their beers. As well as your branded glassware, you'll see that a lot of these are from particular breweries that I've shown you today. You can get glassware that is designed specifically by breweries for their beer. This glass was designed by Jim Kosh from Sam Adams for his beer. It took two years with a specialised glass maker they made that nice shape at the bottom for you to hold, much like the Craftmaster. It's got a very bold shape at the top, a bit like your snifter and your tulip. It's got that nice lip at the top and they've actually put a bit of glass beading around the top. That's capturing the head, much like our Teku. That captures the head, it captures the aromas of the beer. And again, there's usually some nucleation points in the bottom of the beer to evenly release the carbonation. This is specifically designed for Sam Adams beers to get the best experience. It's just a really attractive glass as well. One of the things for get, when you start getting into collecting beer glasses is you're going to find ones that you just really like the look of. Even if you don't think they're going to be the best beer experience, if you just really enjoy it, beer is about enjoyment and if you enjoy drinking your beer at a particular glass, grab yourself one of those as well. Would you like to see videos on specific glasses? Let me know in the comments. So that's a brief introduction to glassware and what ones you should know. Of course, there are glasses that are specifically designed for particular beer styles. I'm talking about the Weizen Vase, which is for German wheat beers, or the Willy Becher, which is for lagers. 
If you'd like to learn more about specific beer glasses for beer styles, let me know in the comments and make sure that you subscribe to Love Beer Learning to get notified when those new videos drop. I'm going to go crack a beer to christen these lovely glasses, but if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit like now. And be warned that buying beer glassware is a slippery slope. The glasses I've shown you today are a mere fraction of my beer glass collection. If you'd like to find out my top tips for starting your own beer glass collection, check out the video that's on your screen now. And the link for my free beer tasting course that covers beer glassware is in the video description. Come join us to learn about beer tasting.